this last week was actually a very big week for crypto. We saw the largest amount of net inflows in terms of spot ETFs we have ever seen. $2.2 billion over the course of the week, doubled the prior week. This is a big deal. And because of this, we saw SHIB moving up. We saw ALT moving up. We saw BTC moving up. All these things were moving in conjunction. And then we felt a little pushback, a little resistance over the last 24 hours. And that's fine. All right. It's normal to go through corrections. It's normal to go through pullbacks. And SHIB pulled back, I think, a little more than other things because we we hit a clear level of resistance along that way. And that was at four zeros, one zero. All right. We did break it, but we did pull back down. You can see that obviously in the charts. We got rejection, rejection, push back down. All right. Right now we're sitting at five zeros, nine, six, seven, somewhere in that range. You can see same exact thing happening with BTC rejection, rejection, push down. All right. So right now, again, Shim is not doing anything different than what the overall crypto market is doing. I know people will say, oh, Shim's looking weak. We couldn't even break past four zeros, one zero. You got to look at the rest of the market. You got to look at what's happening around us. Okay. That that's very key at this time, because again, this isn't times where SHIB really is going to move on its own or do its own thing at the, at this period. Okay. One now, once it gets out of this range, once we kind of get back up into no man's land here between, you know, four zeros, one zero and four zeros, one, two, and especially beyond there, then SHIB can kind of start doing its, its own thing. All right. FOMO because it becomes its own catalyst. It's the same reason we've seen several other coins pump throughout the space and kind of do their own thing at different times. It's because FOMO is one hell of a drug, guys. And right now, SHIB just doesn't have it. SHIB's been kind of lying in the weeds, kind of doing, you know, just following the market, kind of quietly doing its thing. And it, it just kind of is what it is, okay? Now, when it comes to these, these spot ETF flows, I think we have another good week, okay? I really do. I think we end up somewhere between that $1.1 to one or uh, $2.2 billion. I think we end kind of kind of up right in the middle, but more on the the positive side of that, so that's exciting. More flows into BTC helps push price further upwards. Would not be surprised if BTC, you know, depending on what we do this weekend, it would not surprise me if we end up somewhere in that 54 to 56K range by the end of this next week. As always, this is not financial advice. Just know that if BTC tries to make this push to the upside, SHIB is, again, just like we've done over this last week, last two weeks, It'll likely try to make that push to the upside as well. Would not su surprise me if we do break past four zeros, one zero, and then try to again, come back down and, and do our retesting as people try to bet against the market again. Okay. The bears right now, they're not doing a very good job. We're, we're really, really close to the having guys. And this is, this is basically eliminating a lot of their opportunity to push the market down further to suppress prices. Because we know we're supposed to rally pre-having. We know we're supposed to have a good run up into the having, and that time is is now. Okay. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I appreciate you. Let me know your thoughts below. Hope you guys have a great day. Catch you in the next one. Take care.